this is Kelsey with Kelsey Freeman Photography, and I'm so excited about this edit. It's going to be a quick and an easy one, um, and it is super fun. So anyway, we're going to be using the Art and Collection Photoshop Actions to do this edit, so let's get started. Um, I like to start with a base action. Uh, it will go ahead and give you all the colors and give you the feel you're going for. Um, so I am actually going to be running Rust for this picture. So I'm going to click on Rust and press play, and it's going to do all of the work for me. I actually really love how this looks, so I'm going to up the opacity all the way to 100%. Um, make sure you play around with the sliders because it makes the biggest difference. Um, the opacity sliders, I should specify, it just makes such a big difference. Um, in a picture, you don't want to just go through and press all these actions and and leave it like that. You, you want to be able to tweak the opacity so it really looks exactly how you want it to. Um, and so now we're going to come on down to the tone add-ons. I am going to start off with Horizon. It's a really nice, warm kind of edit, um, but it's a little too overkill for me in this picture, so I am going to lower it on down a good bit, so right about there. And then we're going to do one more. I'm going to do Arden and press play. And this is a lovely swoon kind of coolish edit, but I'm going to lower this opacity too right about there. And I really love how that looks so far. The colors are great. So I guess let's go ahead and scroll on down, and I'm going to use a sun. So um, we're going to go to the light add-on section, and I'm going to click on go to sun and press play. It's going to do all the work for you, and then you end up with a gorgeous sun, and you can move it wherever you want. So I'm just going to bring it on up here so it's right up at the top. Now, I wanted some nice, vibrant sun, but you see it's all over her face and all over her hair. So we want to get rid of that and um, basically like erase it off of her face and her hair. Really easy fix. We're just going to make sure we're clicked right here on this layer mask. It's the white square. Then you want to grab a paintbrush, and you want to make sure that you have a black paintbrush when you're brushing on a white square like this. Now, I'm going to uh, make sure that my opacity, um, or I'm sorry, my hardness is at 0%, and then I'm just going to up the size of it um, right about there. And the opacity, I'm going to make sure is at 100%, so I'm completely removing this light from um, my subject here. So I'm just going to brush it around like so. That is perfect, and voila, you see how easy that was? Now the sun is off her face, and that is all done. Um, so let's go on down to the extras down here at the bottom. Um, I am going to click on Color Pop just to really liven up the picture a little bit, but I do want to lower the opacity a tad. So that is awesome. Um, it really gives a nice little pop of color. And then we're going to finish it off with some brush on effects. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can really have more control over my brush and see the picture as a whole. Um, I'm going to just do brush on soft brown. And I'm going to press play. And this little um, box is going to pop up, and it's just going to let you know what to do. It's really simple. You just want to use a large, soft, white paintbrush um, with 0% hardness, like no hard edges, really. Um, and then you'll have a really soft, smooth, uh, soft brown. So I'm going to press continue. I'm going to grab my paintbrush. I'm going to make sure I have a white paintbrush, okay? And um, as far as my hardness, it's down at zero. And my size, I want pretty big. Um, and then I'm going to lower my opacity maybe to about 60 or so. So I'm going to zoom out, give myself, oopsie, give myself a really large brush. And then I'm just going to kind of go around the bottom like so. It's just going to add such a nice softness to the picture, but also a really nice depth. Um, and it just draws my attention even more so to my subject. So that is pretty good. I might even do brush on, um, let's see, brush on dark brown. And I'm going to press play. It'll pop this again just to let you know what to do. Um, and I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit. I just want to make it a little bit darker and more dramatic right around the edges. So I'm just going to swoop on around just like that. And there we go. Oh my goodness. This is just such an awesome edit. It's so like golden and gorgeous. Let me show you guys the before. So that's the before. And there's the after. It was a really quick, really easy edit. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.